Oh, okay. Thank you for always keeping up with us. My name is Waso Emmanuel. Keep subscribing on my YouTube channel. In today's video, we need to look at the longest serving leaders on our continent. Africa is known for having leaders who always resist to move away from the chairs. We are going to look at the seven longest serving leaders, uh, the years they've spent there, and why they are resisting, <laughs> why they are refusing to move away from our chairs. Okay, in number one, we have Theodore Obiang Basongo from Equatorial Guinea. This gentleman has stayed in power for over 43 years now. The guy took over power in 1979 as a coup. This is the longest serving African leader and he still wants another term in office for seven years. Wow. That is Mr. Pietro Obianka from Equatorial Guinea. However, Equatorial Guinea is one of the poorest countries on the continent. But their president is still there. Very old man, around 87 years. But he feels he's supposed to take again the country ahead. We don't know what to do for him. Wow. There is Paul Bia. That is Cameroon. Cameroon is well known for football. If you talk about Cameroon, you can't forget about the greatest players of, of football. That is Samuel Eto and others. Paul Bia came to power in 1979. He's making 80 years soon. He has spent 40 years in power. Cameroon has lived under his dictatorial tenders and uh, a hard leadership of Paul Bia. He spends most of his time abroad, not in the country, ruling the country using his close friends. So, however, whoever talks about uh, taking him away from the, the presidency seat, you always find yourself in trouble. That is uh, Paul Bia, who is ready to add on other seven years <laughs> to rule Cameroon in West Africa. So, uh, this is Paul Bia, very old man but he's still ruling the country. I just wonder how Africa will live. We have Dennis Sosu Mweso, 38 years of rule from Congo, Brazzaville. Most of you don't differentiate between Congo, Brazzaville and the Democratic Republic of Congo. These are two different countries. However, it was once one country, but they had to divide up. So in Congo, Brazzaville, they have Dennis Sosu Mweso, 38 years. He's been in power for 38 years since 1979 to 1992. Then he had to come back again in 1987 and take over till now. He's the one ruling uh, Congo Brazzaville. However, the country is also poor and uh, surviving on a subsistence livings. We have another country in East Africa known as Uganda governed and ruled by President Yoweri Kaguta Museven for now 36 years. President Museveni claims to be 78 years. He took power in 1986, January 26, through a coup. He has been changing the country through constitutions, abolishing the age limit and other articles from Uganda's constitution. He still leading the country for now 36 years. There are no signs of him giving up. Uganda is expecting to have another election in 2026. Museveni is expected to contest again. He, by that time he will be around 82 years. That is Uganda in East Africa also being ruled by Museveni. We have King Muswati III, 36 years of rule. Uh, this is a kingdom, the Swatini kingdom, and it's the only remaining full monarchy, state monarchy in Africa, the only monarchy in Africa. Live alone monarchies which are having small kingdoms, but we, I mean a state monarchy governed by a king, a full country, that is a Swatini down in South Africa. Uh, this guy, has been in power since he was 18 till now. 
that is King Swatini as a, a king in that country. We have Isaiah Afweki, 29 years of rule in Eritrea. He is 76 years, he ruled the whole of African nation with an iron fist. He has been ruling Eritrea under a hard iron fist with a lot of dictatorial tendencies in the Horn of Africa. However, these long-serving presidents have done little to change the status of their countries. We always ask ourselves why Africans don't want to leave power. It's not only in Africa, but it's common in Africa. Even in other countries in Europe, they do the same thing. They are always in power. They stick, for example, if you go to Russia, you go to Bulgaria, those countries are all facing the same challenges. However, in Africa, it is too much. And for those countries, at least for them, they are developing. But for Africa's issues, we are not developing. We are, the, most of the money in Africa is being swindled away. There's a lot of nepotism in these governments. Corruption is like corruption, instability, killing of opponents. So many of the African countries are suffering due to the poor governance. With all the riches Africa is having, these long-serving presidents are not doing enough to save the countries from drowning poverty, from chronic diseases, from absolute killings, from uh, damaging people's rights. So we call upon leaders, even if you want to stick on power, make sure you do what is needed to make sure your country becomes a great nation. We have many of them, the likes of Kagami and others, but let's talk on those ones, the seven, who have served long. We've not talked about uh, Gaddafi, Muhammad Gaddafi, because he died long time ago. We are talking. About, we've been talking about those ones who are still serving in power. Mm. Because if you talk about the longest serving presidents in Uganda, I mean in uh, Africa, you can't miss out Gaddafi, who ruled Libya for 42 years. His, gov his gov government was toppled, and he was even killed. Then uh, you can't for you can't forget about Mugabe from Zimbabwe. He also died at a very late age. So, but those ones died off. These ones whom we've talked about, the likes of uh, Theodore, Museveni, Afeki, and others, these ones are still serving and they are not yet ready to give up. Keep subscribing. My name is Emmanuel.